Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking... Whoa! Holy crap! <laughs> Gee, uh, so uh, anyways, getting back to uh, this video. Actually, you know, I knew that was possible, but I didn't think I was going to pull it off. But uh, yeah, this is Beacon Rush. Uh, and in today's video, as I was saying, uh, we are going to be taking a look at the Spectre with a Vortex weapon. And uh, yeah, <laughs> man still in awe of that uh, that dash that I just did there that was the quickest dash to center ever <laughs> gee whiz so uh, yeah I have that loaded up in my lineup um, the Spectre and the Vortex are Mark 2 so we're gonna be uh, taking a look at that and I've kind of changed things up a little bit here I decided to actually let me just see what these guys are running here I decided to uh, kind of do a bit of a montage of uh, some of my gameplay at the start and then just have one video or uh, one game where I do the commentary for it. Uh, not everyone uh, understands English, so I try to mix things up a little bit. Uh, that way we have a little bit of everything for everyone. So let me know in the comment section below if you actually prefer that kind of format. And um, yep, I'll continue to do that uh, unless, of course, the feedback is very negative. Then we'll take a look at that and I'll switch things back. I just try to mix things up a little bit on my channel. Create uh, different content. Uh, that's kind of what I enjoy doing. So yeah, I dropped in with my Spectre with the Tehrans because they had a lot of players uh, coming up uh, the ramp uh, there. And I wanted to make sure that we had the firepower in order to uh, push them back. I'll probably bring out my uh, Spectre with Vortex uh, later on. I'm taking out uh, that player there. I'll bring it out later on when a lot of these players start coming up the ramp again. Or maybe they try to uh, flank us. Man, that was the fastest dash into center. I've never done that before ever. It's got to be the first. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's got to be a first on my channel. I've uh, done Kumiho dashes like that before, but not with the Strider. Not yet, anyways. Oh, jeez. This Rhino. Man, I'm getting shredded up back. Oh, there's another player to the left side, too. Yeah, I've got to, I've got to uh, go into stealth here soon. Got to make sure that we go into stealth to take this player out. I might even be able to get this Fury. If I can get within that 350... Pretty close, pretty close. Come on, yes. Oh, geez, I'm getting hammered. Just looking to see what's going on here. I think I'm gonna run a dragoon uh, down the uh, covered bridge, clear out uh, this area, and then uh, once this is clear, then I'm probably gonna consider spawning in at center to try see if I can lob some of those uh, vortex. Uh, up on top of the ledge there where they have a Fury uh, Tempest. Targeting down this uh, Lancelot's shield here. I think it is broken. And uh, for those of you wondering, this is the Fury Dragoon uh, Mark II. So everything on this Fury, the Fury itself and the weapons are Mark II. So it does a lot of damage and I did do a video on this so if you haven't yet checked that out make sure to do that I'll probably put a link in the video description so you guys can take a look to see you know what this weapon is capable of oh gosh man don't let that sky go into center like that we've got to stop him there we go 
these uh, players on the other team have a lot of uh, they have a lot of Lancelots and stuff. Gonna focus down this uh, Lancelot in front of me. You know what? He's actually got a very good uh, counter build to what I'm running right now. He's uh, got a Zeus with uh, Scourge weapons. I'm just waiting for all my rounds to load up. And then see if I can try to do some damage this way to him. Yeah, he did finally take me take me down. But that's a very interesting build. I think it's going to be a good build uh, to counter the Dragoon. Going to try to see if I can perhaps get a little bit closer here before I uh, drop in with that Spectre Vortex. I've got another player down below here. Let's see if we can perhaps... Get a couple of shots in on him. There we go. Yeah, these guys have a lot of um, Lancelots on the other side. They had a few that uh, attacked the center, but we have another one approaching here. And he's backed up by, it looks like, something with Punishers. Oh jeez, I'm going to have to uh, target this player here. Don't want him getting up that ramp. We need to uh, make sure that we stop him. Going to spawn in quickly just in case. If I can get within 350, I might be able to take that uh, Fury out on the uh, right side. So I'm going to jump now. Launch my Vortex. That should do it. See if we can get... In behind this Lancelot here. He actually doesn't even know that I'm here. Got a lock on though. Come on, launch! There we go. Oh jeez, this is not a good spot to be. Let's hit that griffin. And I've got to jump here. I've got to <laughs> I've got to get out of here because I'm taking on so much damage. And uh, maybe I can launch. See if I can launch some Vortex onto that player back there. Holy crap, I'm getting smoked, smoked. Come on, run, run. Maybe I can get this player down below here. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, he's in a very awkward position here for me. You know what? I think he might be in a Spectre or something because he jumped. Unless he's in an Inquisitor, perhaps? Yep, there we go. Okay, so now we're dealing with a Galahad. A Galahad has a pretty narrow profile, so I'm going to fire singles here. One thing that I noticed with the Vortex, the arc is very extreme. Kind of reminds me of Aphids when they were... Buffing, uh, you know, when they buffed the aphids a while back. Gosh, I don't even know what that play is in. I think he was in the Lancelot. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, this is pretty much how we stacked up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.